Professor Heng. He will speak about online digital platforms and marketing plans for FMB and hospitality businesses. Uh, so over to with and um, through it, I appreciate customer journey map. And today, I'm going to share with you, see, thing, do, can. So a thing about micro moments, because we're all talking about online, we're talking about micro moments and the signal is the inner and everybody, they can actually be doing certain things, which is think of a chase. Now my content, I'm going to split it into a few parts. So I'm going to talk about online stats that I'm going to get, that I get from um, the things that some of you might be familiar with, some of you might not, and have compiled the entire stats for two years so that you can actually take a look. So a lot of people are talking about online food delivery. We're encouraging our food operator, hawkers, coffee shops to be on food delivery. Why? Now, that the stats speaks. So um, a bit redundant question, when should we do? Of course, it's as soon as possible. And now the next question, the next few questions are more critical. Where should we do and what should we do? A lot of people are doing Facebook, Instagram, all this. No problem about that. But there are a lot of frustrations also. You get, you get things like, oh, uh, my, my Facebook ads is not driving as much traffic. Now, have, you ever, have you ever considered why? Now, in, our, in my model, I'm just going to highlight to you why is that so and what are the steps that we can do and how we can actually navigate this issue. So shortly on that, what should we do? Now, there are two channels that are especially lucrative and uh, there are steps that we need to suss up and uh, enhance on it. That means do some action about it. Now, the last part I just want to share with you, what are some actionable things that you can immediately do? Some of you might be doing online food delivery. You're definitely on a few platforms. So what are some of the things that you can do? And of course, some of you might be advising your clients on certain aspects of it. So what are the things that you can actually do it immediately? So we know online food delivery is growing. Now, the question is, how much has it grew? These are the stats taken from Sync stats. So later I will give you a QR code you can actually scan. I have tabulated nicely for you all the way from 2020 all the way until September 2021. And you can actually see each month. Now, other than the growth of the online, right, I, I, there are some, some very, very interesting stats. For example, a lot of us will be thinking, hey, last year 2020 COVID has dealt a bad blow to food and beverage. Really? Now, December 2020, we are doing about 700 over million worth of F&B sales. In Singapore, in 2009, a normal year, December, we're doing about 900 over million, about close to 1 billion. Now, about 200 over million difference, considering that we have zero tourists. I, I, I won't say that that's bad for any FMB operators in Singapore. So, the stats, have a look at it. I have tabulated it nicely for you, and um, you can actually have a look. But look at the bar chart. Now, see what happened. April and May is our best, worst month. For any FMB, there's, there's lockdown. I mean, there's nothing you can do, right? Circuit breaker. Look at the online, it just grew. Expected, isn't expected. Now, then the next question, which a lot of FMB operators in the market will say, ah, you know, after everything goes back to normal, the FMBs, the, the online sales will go down. Really? Would it? Oh, by the way, this is, uh, this is the QR code for those of you that are interested in the tabulation that I've done for you. You can actually scan it. By the way, you can actually go to SyncStats and download all 20, 20 months. Um, but I thought I, I do the favor for you and, and do all the screenshots and into one page so that you can actually have a clearer illustration of the comparison of the stats. And of course, all the all the digital stats I have put inside also for for easy reference. If some of you miss this, do do reach out to the the names colleagues uh, and they will give you the the link to it as well. Not to worry about it. Just just drop in the email to them. I do that fifty percent. From Jan to June. So now the question is after July, when things return to normal, there is no circuit breaker. And during that time, we can go out in five and eight. Take a look. The online maintained, the online delivery stats maintained. So all the way until December. So if the question is, okay, when things return to normal, if it ever does, um, I, I believe there's always a huge switch right now with Cloud Kitchen and all. A lot of people believe that the online will drop back to what? 90, 90 million as in January 2020? Might not be the case. Now let's look at what is more interesting is this year. Now if you recall, in May, during that period when we have heightened alert, a lot of, a lot of F&B operators that will be interviewed say that, ah, it's worse than circuit breaker. We have uh, 
reduce sales, there's not a lot of um, online delivery and so on. Uh, but the stats speaks otherwise. In May 2021, we exceed 200 million. There are a lot more online delivery. Now, for the very important to read stats and to understand is it something wrong with your system or something wrong with the environment? What I'm alluding to right now is the online environment, there's nothing wrong. It's getting better and better. Right? And people are used to it and more people are getting used to it. Now, if your client outlet or your outlets is uh, having some difficulties in navigating this particular situation, you might not you might want to reframe the problems and we look at your problems that like what are we dealing with? That's my take of it. Um, I, I do not know what number of you are going through, but what I'm sharing with you is uh, contrary to what some of the interview states about the drop in the online delivery, the online delivery went up and it reached a peak of 261 million in July 2021. Okay, and right now it maintains above 200 million. Okay, so that is, that is pretty much why we want to do it. Of course, most of us are really doing it. We need to put in more effort into doing it. For instance, I do not know how many of you uh, have the habit of subscribing to SingStats. It's free. And our government, our government did a good job at, at consolidating the stats. I mean, you don't need to pay AC Nelson, Euro Monitor. So if you have not done that, you will want to do it. Now, since you're online, how familiar you are with all the various online stats. Now, if you are not, then after two sessions, uh, in the link, you can find some free tools as well. Uh, play around with it. Uh, again, if you have any questions, just uh, drop me. Um, you can get my contact again from the colleagues at uh, NACE, and um, I'll be more than happy to share some of the way to navigate some of these free tools as well. I'm just putting in, pumping in a lot of stats, a lot of numbers that is growing. And the fact is, if you look at the link that I've given you, currently online account for approximately 40% of the whole uh, totality of the F&B sales in Singapore, more than 40%. So of course, uh, with two people dining in and restricted access for this, that's not nothing new. But what if the trend stays and this 40% remains and next time you can have more dining? All you need to do is to strengthen your operation to make sure that you can actually serve everyone, the online and the offline that walks in. So as I mentioned, when should we do it? Now from 19 million to more than 250 million, the, the scenario is very, very clear. We should have actually done it yesterday, right? I mean, I hate to use that phrase, but we should have done it ASAP. And it's not a matter should you be, that's, that's, that's a given, it's how you're going to compete effectively. For some of you that are foot and down, and your, your, your presence is only so-so, so you, you probably need to set something, okay, how is it? Or you're on GrabFood or Deliveroo, and what are the platforms? And if you're using social media, you're doing some paid advert, and you find that there's uh, not a lot of returns yet. So the question is, have you been studying your competitors? Have you been studying what they are doing? So later we will go into that as well. How they are spending their advert and what they are spending it on. Now, what are your assets? You have social media. So do you know what is it used for? What is it the best use for it? And how should you use it to get more sales? Now, a lot of people use Facebook and Instagram to get a direct click. Now, Facebook and Instagram are fantastic tools to get awareness. But for a do, that means actionable, not so Why? Let me explain. Can you imagine an app that is pushed to your feed and say that by now, we are, we are reasonable price and so on and so forth. How will you re respond to it? It's almost like you're watching a YouTube video and then there's a mid-roll advertisement come out. Will you be happy or will you be frustrated? Now, think about it. Now, the use of the social media channel and the placement of the advertisement are key to getting a success in online delivery. 